what's going on everybody we're Stephen gamer back again with another hero spotlight today we have the may signing hero of the month the puppet master really fun and interesting looking hero guys i must say very cool looking but the weird that uh the thing that he has no arms is freaking freaky all right it's freaky when i first saw him I'm like what the hell this guy has no arms where the hell are his arms but let's dig right into it all right i just I summoned him earlier, right? Only so I can upgrade his um, ultimate skill here, right? We'll go into that in a little bit of, uh, you know, more detail later on. But for now, I'm going to promote him. He's at white right now, so we're going to promote him as much as I possibly can. And then we'll go on with the usual skills and opinions. All right, so let's go on. Oh, actually, let's do some animations. Animations. All right, that's weird. His voice... I don't know, his... It seems like his voice doesn't go with him. But I love, look at him, he's got all these arms, I guess you can call them arms. They serve as arms. But, he's obviously the puppet master. Reminds me a lot of, um, Naruto. If you guys know what I'm talking about, there's a lot of puppet masters in Naruto. From the Akatsuki one. And Gara's brother. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's go. So, he's at purple. Uh, I can promote again. Let's go. Promote. Okay, let's keep going. Purple plus two. For the puppet master here. I hope this guy is good. Oh, we can keep going. Let's go purple plus three. Why not? And... Yeah, purple plus... What the hell? I just clicked out of this. Go back. Wait. Too high. Too high. There he is. Alright. So the... I guess promotions stops here because the moon glow don't have it yet. I could get it. But for now we're just going to continue on with the skills and some random attacks and stuff like that. So let's check out his ultimate here and see what he's all about. Detonation. Detonation. Hedgehog. Rex, Rex is his name, summons a hedgehog that detonates near a backline enemy, dealing AoE physical damage. Nice, doesn't sound too bad. Sandstorm, Rex summons a sand, sandworm? Wait a minute, why did I say sandstorm? Misread, sandworm. Rex summons a sandworm that stuns enemies it passes through, dealing physical damage to them. Okay, not bad, that's a stun. So he sum Rex summons a scorpion to attack a random backline enemy. Oh, so this first one was a backline enemy. Let me see. Dealing AoE physical damage. Never mind. This is... Yeah. It says near a backline enemy. And this one is a backline enemy attack too. Okay, not bad. Receives lethal damage. Wait a minute. When Rex receives, receives lethal damage, his substitute explodes and grants Rex a shield. The skill can only be triggered once per battle. Whoa. Winning. That doesn't sound so bad. Let me upgrade a little bit here. Let's go to 5 here. 5 here. So his ultimate I have already upgraded because I kind of wanted to see it more in action. I guess you can say that. And the rest I'm just going to upgrade just a tad bit. And I got one more here. Let's give it to the ultimate. Alright Rex. Let's give him this. Let's give him this. And that's good let's go let's take my boy rex out for a night on the town and see what he can do rexy my boy rex no what am i doing here all right we're gonna go to a lower stage obviously uh nah, all right let's try this one yeah, this one should be fine. This should be fine. So let's take these girls out. And let's find Rex. Oh, I didn't check if he's a front or midline hero here. Hmm. That would have been good to know. Where is he? There he is. What's up? Oh, that sounds weird. Is he backline or a midline? It's not central. Oh, he's a backline. 
some weird things going on in the game guys some weird stuff the last few heroes they've all been backlined the sorceress the troll princess this guy whoa a lot of backline heroes all right so let's put somebody in the front um who should i put it doesn't really matter anyways but let's go yeah let's go with soul hunter because this is the soul hunter channel let's go Come on, Puppet Master, be good. Don't suck. All right, so let's see here. Basic attack right away. Next up. Oh, there's the Scorpion that I was talking about going through the enemy, dealing good damage. There's the Scorpion that hits the back line. All right, this stage must be very low. All right, so I noticed a couple of attacks. Scorpions that goes to the back. I like the animations, though. Let's go his ultimate right here. Summons uh, AoE damage and explodes in the back. Sweet. That's pretty cool. There's that little sandstorm that goes through everybody and the scorpion that hits the back line. Alright, so this guy looks like a back line killer. Alright, he's meant to kill the back line, obviously. So that is always useful, alright? Because right now, all you pretty much have is Sapper. Ninja Assassin, there it is. Yep, it's all about the back line, and this is doing some good work here. Maybe the stage is very low, but that's like 10,000 damage to each person, which was not bad. Yes, not bad at all. Hmm, I'm gonna do one more battle because I kind of like it. Let's oh no, did I hit it? Did I hit? No, I didn't. All right, good. I'm gonna go in a little bit of tougher battle. Oh, look at that. I found the troll merge. Let's go a little bit higher here. One more. One more. Let's go here. This is purple, so this should be a little bit tougher. Let's see how he handles himself in this one. Let's see if he's got it in him. Let's see if his puppets are tough enough. Crap. Don't tell me this is uh, immune to physical. Hmm. Oh, it's immune to magic, so that's good. He's a physical attacker, so that's another good thing. Scorpion hitting in the back. Huh. Another basic attack here. There goes the little scorpions on the ground. And this is the real scorpion that hits the back line. Nice. 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 Very nice. Like him a lot, guys. I think he's pretty cool. So let's go. Ultimate. Ooh, good damage. Hits everybody pretty good. He's got a lot of... So he's got some good AoE damage, alright? So he hits everybody. Plus... He's got, his ultimate does AoE damage, his second uh, skill does, hits the back line, and this one, it's AoE. Pretty damn cool, and if he's, if he's hit hard enough, oh, I've never seen that one yet, because I don't think he's been hit hard enough, but if he gets hit hard enough, I guess a substitute takes the damage for him, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to check that one out. So let's see it here, maybe I can see it here, I'm gonna let him get hit here, even though that, at uh, that um, ability is probably too low for now. I have to upgrade it some more, maybe. Go, ultimate. 4,000 there. Still impressive. Still very impressive, even though it's a tougher stage here. Yeah, I still did a good... Wow, a lot of damage. Well, way to go, buddy. You did good. So he passed the test, I think. Seems very cool. I really can't wait for this guy to come out, guys. Seems really nice. So we'll have to log in the rest of the month to get as many as you can. And then, hopefully, I hope they put him in the Crucible shop. Because... I mean, the Crusade shop, I'm sorry. Because, think about it, the last bunch of heroes have all gone to, like, Grand... I mean, uh, Tournament shop. The Grand Arena. Like, come on. Put him somewhere where we can get him, goddammit. So yeah, there he is, guys. I know probably everybody already knows him and has him by now, but in my opinion, this Puppet Master Rex seems really cool, all right? He's going to be very nice to counter a lot of the backline heroes. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you do, and I'll see you guys on the next Hero Spotlight, all right? Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.